Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back with a special opening today. We have, of course, Yugi's legendary decks. So in case you guys were wondering how big this thing was, like I thought this was going to be a tiny little box, but for comparison here, I'm trying to avoid the glare. This is my deck box and, you know, it has enough room to hold a deck like that. So this is actually pretty large in size overall. Um, you can think of it more like a slightly modified version of the Legendary Collections in terms of the style of the box. Of course, this is supposed to be kind of like the box the Millennium Puzzle came in, and it's gorgeous in gold. It has the Millennium Puzzle on this side, um, on either side. And if we look at the back here, it says, now you can duel with all three decks used by the King of Games. So you can see we have the Duelist Kingdom deck with Exodia, the Dark Magician special, I guess, Battle City deck, and then the uh, Ceremonial Duel deck that... Uh, was using the last episodes of the original show and of course all these extra promos and stuff so we're going to go ahead and open this thing up all right so here is the box again in gorgeous gold we have of course the yami and the yugi this i think was the yugi they used for the dark beginning pack way back in the day like the first reprint pack and then I don't remember exactly where I saw this particular version of Yami, but they had that image on some product before. So we're going to go ahead and open this. Of course, it is like the Legendary Collection, so it does open up. It's a lid box. And we'll start off with our promo pack. All these are very beautifully wrapped up, and we even have like this supporter here. So let's see here. This is the Electromagnetic Turtle that appeared in the Battle City. Uh, semifinals when Yugi faced Kaiba. So let's see, it's a new machine monster. It reads, during your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard to end the battle phase as a quick effect, but you can only activate this effect once per duel. So very powerful machine, light level four monster. It has 1800 defense as well. So, you know, you could set this thing, mill this thing, pitch this thing from your hand, whatever, and then it'll just battle fader your opponent. So that's really cool. Dark Renewal. I actually didn't realize that these were going to be secret rares. I thought they were going to be ultra. So very pleased with how they turned out. But Dark Renewal, if we can get this to focus, is a trap that says when your opponent normal or special summons a monster or monsters, you can target one of them and a spellcaster you control. Send both to the graveyard, and then you could special summon a dark spellcaster from your deck or graveyard. So it's kind of like you're tributing your guy and your opponent's guy to summon, of course, your Dark Magician. And Black Illusion. So Black Illusion is a normal trap that reads, until the end of this turn, all dark spellcaster types with 2,000 or more attack you currently control cannot be destroyed by battle. Their effects are negated, and also they're unaffected by your opponent's card effects. So very powerful shield, as you can see here. It's pretty much a shield on Dark Magician's magical staff, magic wand. And here's the first of some really cool cards that I've been looking forward to. This is an ultra rare set sail for the kingdom. Um, one of the cards that actually uh, appeared in the anime when Pegasus invited Yugi and a lot of the other Duelist Kingdom participants to his island. So you can see this is the ship. And um, the reason the format looks like this is because this is actually kind of the template for the old OCG cards way back in the day before we even got them. They had little text boxes here for monsters for attack and defense. And then like the flavor text was this very small rectangle in the corner. Um, and you can see here, there's like tons of extra space. So very cool to actually see some cards in English that have this. Similarly, we have Duelist Kingdom. This is pretty much your passport that lets you go anywhere on the island. And then we have Glory of the King's Hand. This looks beautiful in ultra rare, but this is the thing you needed for the $3 million cash prize um, once you defeated Pegasus. Unfortunately, we didn't get a blank white foil card for Glory of the King's opposite hand. I think that would have been really cool, but we didn't get it. And then, of course, the Egyptian gods from the Battle City deck. So we have Sly for the Sky Dragon here. We have Obelisk the Tormentor and the Winged Dragon of Ra. I kind of feel like these look kind of faded out. These are the North American versions of these, and, you know, I kind of wish they were a little more vivid in their colors, but they look kind of like the Legendary Collection ones, so... I don't know, just a little complaint I have. I do like them when, you know, like the backs are really bold. Why can't the fronts be bold? And we have this very special Yami Yugi token in foil. So this looks really neat as well as a bonus. So those are the promos. A lot of those are new, of course. We're going to go ahead and open these decks in order. And I'm just going to check to make sure there's nothing else in here in the back. So we have this nifty little supporter. I don't think we have anything under it. Nope. 
but it's a different shape from what I thought. I thought this was gonna go all the way down. So we're gonna push this off to the side now. And we'll start off with the Exodia deck. Get this to focus a bit more. There. And I really do like how in the last few years Konami finally decided to put these opener things of plastic. Because now we can actually open these decks reasonably quickly. And so of course to start off we have Exodia the Forbidden One. Um, I, it, they changed this card's effect again. It says if instead of when. Uh, but if you have the pieces in addition to this card in your hand, you win the duel, of course. Um, the right leg. This actually kind of looks fake, to be honest. Like, they look really dark. But um, nonetheless, it's really cool to get ultra rare versions of all these cards at once. Um, looks kind of like the Legend of Blue Eyes original versions, to be honest. Then we have, of course, Common Blackluster Soldier. Um, interesting thing here is, uh, since this thing didn't have a little 8 digit passcode for the video games just put first uh, first edition here and it looks kind of weird bls in common which is very very weird to see but nonetheless fantastic card that a lot of people are looking forward to uh, i'm just going to push these as i go we have dark magician the original artwork finally reprinted for i think the first time since the 2013 booster pack tins and then that was only a reprint after the um, original Yugi deck and the Dark Duel Stories video game for Game Boy Color, so very glad to see the original artwork. We have the original artwork of Dark Magician Girl as well, but that one, I don't know, they, they've had this one in Premium Gold and stuff, so. Gaia the Fierce Knight, a knight whose horse travels faster than the wind. His battle charge is a force to be reckoned with. Summon Skull with the errata that says that it is always an Archfiend card, so kind of neat to have that in there. But a fiend with dark powers for confusing the enemy. Among the fiend-type monsters, this monster boasts considerable force. We have Cursed, uh, Curse of Dragon. Catapult Turtle with the errata, so it does say once per turn, unfortunately. But they had to do that. We have Celtic Guardian. Uh, Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, number one. Feral Imp. Beaver Warrior, great old Beaver Warrior. Griffor is finally printed here, so this is kind of fun to have because I do have a collection of the first series stuff, and I'd always been wondering, you know, when are we going to get Griffor? Um, we finally have it, and it wasn't in an astral pack. Um, Mystical Elf, Giant Soldier of Stone, Mammoth Graveyard, and Karibo. Then for our spells, we have Monster Reborn, Swords of Revealing Light, Mystic Box, Brain Control, Monster Recovery, which is kind of this really weird version of Reload, um, Spell Shattering Arrow, which is called the Living Arrow in the show, and it had a slightly different effect. Very broken, fusing, copying, crazy effect. Um, Horn of the Unicorn, Mystical Moon, that was destroyed by the Giant Soldier of Stone. Burning Land, Multiply, Detonate, which is kind of what Karibo just did, it wasn't a card back in the day. Makiyu the Magical Mist, Polymerization, I kind of wish they went with the old artwork, but nonetheless we do have a Polymerization. Black Luster Ritual, and for traps we have Mirror Force, Magical Hats, the Eye of Truth, uh, and Shift. And then we have a common version of Gaia, the Dragon Champion, which actually looks pretty cool, to be honest. I've only seen it in Secret, and I think I might have seen... I don't remember what other versions there were, to be honest. Whoa, this one doesn't have, like... It's just two slits and no nothing else to open it with. This is going to be a challenge. I don't want to damage the card, so... I'm just going to push at it. Yep, got it. So this is his Battle City deck. Um, they actually made an error in the official Konami video uh, saying that Swords of Revealing Light was played by Yugi in this deck. Um, first in the duel against Seeker, the Rare Hunter, but realistically in that situation, the Rare Hunter played it on him. But we have Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior, which looks really, really cool in Ultra Rare. And this Arcana Dark Magician, which is something a lot of people are looking forward to, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense, and we finally have it after its release many, many years ago in the Japanese Premium Pack 6, I think it was, a long time ago. Um, we have Dark Magician Girl in Ultra Rare. I didn't think this artwork was going to be printed in Ultra Rare, so this is actually a very welcome edition. Um, Super Rare editions, of course, do exist from the Duelist Pack Yugi, but looks really neat in Ultra. And Swords of Revealing Light, the card I mentioned, you know, like, it appears, Yugi uses it, but it wasn't really something worth printing in Ultra for the Battle City version, I think. I think it should have been Ultra for the other one. Just a little fact thing, I guess. Mirror Force in Ultra Rare looks really cool as a throw-in reprint. Buster Blader, 
Archfiend of Guilford or Beast of Guilford. Um, we have Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight. Berthamet, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, milled as one to form a powerful monster. Big Shield, Gardna, Karibo, Monster Reborn again. So we have two of these things. It's just like Konami's like, hey, we can give you as many Monster Reborns as you want because you're never getting it back anyway. Dark Magic Curtain, Thousand Knives, Magic Formula, Magical Dimension, Diffusion Wave Motion, Double Spell, which is a cool thing that lets you steal your opponent's spell from their grave, Ectoplasmer. I don't remember if Yugi used this. I think that some of these things are things his opponents used. Um, well, I guess Yugi did use the effect of Ectoplasmer um, on his own Dark Magician to counter the effects of this Dark Magician uh, trying to damage him when he faced Arcana, but I don't know, it's kind of a weird throw in. Like, it's good for nostalgia, I guess, but it's not really Yugi. Um, Soul Taker, which had a different effect in the show. We have uh, Pot of Greed, Card Destruction, Exchange, Monster Recovery again? I don't know why they put that in here, and still no other alternate artwork of Polly. Defusion, Multiply, Magical Hats, Magic Cylinder, Spellbinding Circle, I love this artwork uh, compared to the OCG version. Light Force Sword, Chain Destruction, Soul Rope, Tragedy. They put Tragedy in here. I don't remember that card being played by Yugi, but maybe it was. I don't know. But uh, fairly creepy artwork for that. And then Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. And last but not least, we have the Ceremonial Battle Duel, um, or Battle Deck. I really don't know why we're seeing a Dark uh, Magician of Black Chaos. I almost said Demok, but uh, yeah, Magician of Black Chaos is the cover card for this deck, and I'm not exactly sure why, considering this is from Battle City, and it never showed up again. I don't think in ritual form. It was Demok. Yep, after that. So Demok just got a new errata, so it says, During the end phase, if this card is normal or special summoned to this turn, you can take a spell in your grave and add it to your hand. You can only activate this effect once per turn. If it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, banish it, and then you can... Um, whenever this thing would leave the field, banish it instead. So let me get this thing to focus again. But there we go. We have Demok. Hopefully he comes back on the next ban list. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't. Um, Silent Magician level 8. Looks really cool in Ultra. The Legend of Blue Eyes version of Dark Magician we've seen way too many times. Gold Sarcophagus and Ultra. This is a really cool reprint here, and it makes sense considering this was one of the key cards. I mean, this canceled the Monster Reborn that would have allowed the Pharaoh to win. Then we have Gandora, Silent Magician level 4, the Swordsman series, 7, 5, and 3. Dark Magician Girl with this artwork, that hasn't been seen, I don't think, since the tin way back in like 2004 or so. So that's really cool that we actually have this artwork. It's unfortunate that it's common. I kind of would have liked it as an Ultra, but... You know, you get what you get. A second Buster Blader. The Tricky. Uh, the Poker Knights once again. The Gadgets once again. Skilled Dark Magician. And Skilled White Magician. I don't think you ever played the Skilled White Magician. At least not in this battle, but um, it does exist nonetheless. And brings out the Buster Blader. We have Block Man, which is pretty much just a Lego, you know, uh, Marshmallow. Karibo, Monster Reborn. Wow, we got three Monster Reborns. And Swords of Revealing Light, Card of Sanctity, without the broken draw until you have six for each player uh, effect. We have Polly again with no alternate artwork. My gosh, Konami, seriously. Uh, dark Magic Attack, Magicians Unite, Dedication Through Light and Darkness, which is something epic, because now we can tribute a Dark Magician to actually play this to summon Demok. So, um, Black Magic Ritual, Tricky Spell Level 4, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, Marsh Melon Glasses. Is there another card here? No, it feels kind of thick. I don't know. Uh, Common Mirror Force, Magician's Circle, Shattered Axe. I don't remember this thing being used, but maybe it was. Um, Stronghold the Moving Fortress, Miracle Restoring, and a common version. Whoa, that was unexpected. Of Dark Paladin. Like, back in the day, if you showed me common versions of these cards, like, I'd be like, what the heck? Like, they can't, they can't be real. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, this is this legendary... Well, I, I call it a legendary collection. It's pretty much a legendary collection for this year. It's like Yugi's World version 2. Um, don't get, like, the Mega Packs this time, but I think we got some really, really neat promos. I actually was thinking of picking up the OCG version of this, or these three sets. Um, ultimately decided not to because of how expensive they were, but I'm so glad they brought them over here. So... 
in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of the set as Konami has made it. Uh, maybe let me know what you think you would have liked for them to have added that they didn't. Um, yeah, and I guess uh, if you want to check out anything similar, I actually do have a special playlist on my channel where I go and do a bunch of you know, miscellaneous videos, and those videos include the first series collection that I have, as well as the uh, character deck. So I actually did a Yugi character deck profile just a few weeks ago. If you want to check either of those out, link is in the description to that playlist. I think you guys will enjoy it if you wanted this product for the nostalgia factor. So thanks guys, this is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.